Okay guys, uh, we are here and I have completely finished the village besides getting the villagers in, but we ignore that. But yeah, we are back with another episode of Anortha Blocks and today we are going to be doing some pretty cool stuff so you guys better stick around and see it through to the end. You don't have to really, but I would recommend it because it's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, as always, if you guys do enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit notification bell, and let's get into it. Okay, guys, that zom a zombie attacked me during the intro. <laughs> That's why I'm so low in health. Uh, yeah, I'm completely done in this area. It looks really sweet. Um, and I got this villager statue here, which I thought just added so much to the just the center point here. I, I love it. Um, this is a design by someone else. I can't remember his name despite having recorded this clip three times. Um, but yeah, this was designed by someone else and the link will be in the description down below. Also guys, the redstone is completely done down here. And I'm going to jump on my cam account quickly just to show you it real, real quick. Okay guys, so let's just jump out of my body real quick, and uh, yeah, so basically we have a villager breeder up here that is feeding into this tube here. Then I have a kind of sorting system here, I'm just doing a quick explanation, I'll do a tutorial on all of this eventually. But yeah, uh, where we can call the villagers, they'll come into here, and then when I've set their trade, they'll get dropped, thrown into here, go through these water... Um, these water slides and stuff that I've set up all into here. They'll end up in these bubble elevators, get lifted up, shooped into here and down here where I can basically zombify them, unzombify them, and then they will go into a water stream that is around here, which will lead them out and up this water stream here, up into the village. So moving on from all the village and villager stuff, uh, I have had to revamp the tree farm storage system. So essentially there are two inlets now. So we have that for the wood and this for the saplings and sticks down here. If we come on down here, you'll see we only have shulker box loaders now for the actual wood. The sticks and apples are sorted into just chests and we have the saplings coming into the bone meals as per usual. And there's this whole sorting system back here, but it's basically just a standard sorting system. Uh, I'm not going to go through it. It's it's not that hard to design. If you guys want to see, see me talk you through it, then let me know and I'll do it for another future episode. So I now have a ridiculous amount of wood because I ran that thing for a bit. Jungle saplings are a little hard to get, but we're going to be rem rectifying that later on. Gosh, that is a hard word to say. Um, but another thing I have a ridiculous amount of is gunpowder. That's why I've upgraded to flight duration three rockets. Also, I nearly ran out of fish. This is my last stack actually. So I went to my e shop and I bought a shulker box full of golden carrots. Cost me 27 diamonds. Totally worth it. Eventually we'll be able to do it on our own though. But another thing I have a ridiculous amount of is beacons. I now have five around this area. So I have three over there in the village, one over there for my mining and one over here just to speed up the whole building of down there. I'll probably move this one around though. Uh, I also have another two nether stars as well because we are going to be needing two beacons for today's main project. I want to say main project. One of today's projects. And that is going to be building a raid farm. And we are going to be using the Razeworks designs. I've already scouted out an area I'm going to build and built a nether tunnel to it. So I want to show you guys that real quick. Basically what I've done with the nether. So before in the nether I had this portal which was the first one you came to. Which is my base. And then here we had down here if we travel down here a bit. We have the mining mace uh, desert. <laughs> mining desert um, portal. Which I've made three wide now because... There is more tunnel now down here, so if we travel down here about 150, 200 blocks, then we'll get to where the raid farm's going to be. So right here and down there is where the raid farm will be. And uh, this is still made out of cobble because it's temporary, because I think most of this will probably get reset when we uh, basically update to 116. And then if you keep going down there, there is actually a jungle biome portal down there, in case anybody on the server or I need to get to a jungle. That's pretty much the closest one to me at least. But if we come down here then and go through the portal obviously. Uh, we come to a pillager outpost which is what we're going to be using to get bad omen. And then around here we are going to be building a raid farm. I cannot deal with all these pillagers. Now that that's all cleared up. Uh, somewhere around here it's also real convenient because it's by an ice spikes biome which is awesome. Or is this an iceberg biome? I can't remember what it's called. I think it's an iceberg. But around here somewhere we're going to be building a... Uh, raid farm probably out in the ocean probably just right over here because this is a pretty open space and that's what we are going to be doing now is constructing that okay guys so I've been doing a lot of work and I've got the raid farm pretty much done the only thing I need to do is actually get this villager in place there you go guys I got him on the move woo finally uh, but yeah this is uh this is gonna be tedious because I, I didn't fancy making a bunch of uh, powered rails so 
I might have to push him a bit, so I'm gonna get him into place, and I'll be back with you guys, and I'll show you the finished farm then. Here he goes into the final area, and uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. So, he's here. Please don't fall. And of course he fell! I got him back on the rails, guys. We're going, we're going! He is in place-ish. I've just gotta wait for it to turn nighttime so he goes to sleep, and then I can remove those two blocks, but for now I'm just gonna get rid of this rail. Okay guys, so I have the rail completely gone from all the way over here. I have the villager in place on the bed there. I have the beacon in and I have the whole raid farm finished here. So now we have the drop shoot, the killing area and the spawning area. You guys will have to watch Raidswick's video explaining this. And I think it's Pufferfish HQ or something who did the tutorial on this. So both of those will be linked down below. So be sure to check that out. But I haven't got the storage system for this done yet. That's going to be a project for in between videos. Uh, so I'll have to run this in next episode and uh, show you guys the results of that. So let's move on to our next project. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to be doing is working in Toby's base. And this is Toby Chom Chom, um, which is, I don't think I've shown this off on camera for a while, but uh, this is his little starter village. I'm saying starter because he's building a giant castle now, which I will show off some other time. I'm not sure where he showed, how much of it is shown off, so I'll have to ask him maybe to show it off to me. But he's asked that somebody do some armor stands for him in the area, and he said he'd pay me a diamond per armor stand, so I'm gonna be giving that a go. I wouldn't say I'm an expert at armor stands. I need to repair my elytra, though. Uh, but I am not that bad at them, so I'm gonna be getting a few of them in place. And I'll come back and show you guys when I've got a few in place. Okay guys, I've been doing a little bit of work. And I've got this little bit of uh, area done here. This just little front gate bit. So we've got the two guards questioning this guy who wants to come in. He's a, he's a trader, so he's got his uh, little bit of kelp. And this guy's checking his paper, seeing if he's, you know, he's, uh, he's allowed to enter or whatnot. And this guy's like... Uh, just, he's just, he's just there, you know, he's just talking to the guy while this guy's checking. Uh, we still got a bunch to do in here, and I also got these tool racks here, so this guy's sword sitting here, and then there's another rack here. I hope Toby doesn't mind these, uh, if he doesn't like them, he can remove them, but just so that's where this guy's sword would have been, you know. But yeah, I want to get into the village now and get some people in the village, etc. So that's what I'll be showing you guys next. Warning, a lot of cows, horses, and llamas were harmed during the making of this video. Okay guys, I am back and also I got some exciting news. I have Zoom back again. So as you can see, I've done a lot of work. There's a little guard up there in that tower over there. And I've done a lot of work and I've completely finished this whole thing now. Uh, we've got this little bit that I showed you earlier. And then as you come in, you've got this guy uh, feeding the pigs, the cara, you know. Oh, that bell is loud. We've got a lunatic sitting around of Toby and Squid saying hi to each other. Some more guards around here. Uh, this is the town hall. That's why there are guards outside. Oh, that is loud. Um... But yeah, there's me and uh, Nano having a meeting in there, you know, because Nano's the uh, the mayor and uh, I'm important, so I must be there. Uh, we got this little wandering trader, some little villagers. This is one of my favorite ones, this little bar scene in here. So if I go ahead and close this door. So we've got some guards getting, that is so loud. I need to turn that down. Okay, as I was saying, so we got some uh, guards getting a drink in here and got this guy closing the door. I, I just thought it was really cool. Um, if you come along here, we got a guy fishing. We got another guy fishing here. We got another some wandering traders around. Um, if I come in here, then uh, we have a guy working on an a pickaxe down here, which I think was pretty cool. Um, if we head out of here... I'm trying to remember where everything is. <laughs> we got this. This is my very favorite display. That is so loud. Uh, this is my very favorite one. Uh, a kid that grabbed onto the water wheel. I saw this and I was like, I've got to put a kid hanging onto it. And then we got a Bex trying to save it. Uh, the kid, that is. <laughs> and then uh, we got this little deal transaction thing going on over here. Another wandering trader. Oh, I love this one as well. A kid's pushing one of the guys into the bathroom in the street. Uh, also, we've got a Mighty up there, uh, we've got some stuff going on in here as well, 
uh, another one going on in a few of these buildings as well. And I think all in all, there are about 42 armor stands around here. And I, I've just really enjoyed doing this, just telling little stories and bringing it all together in the village. It's been a lot of fun to do, and those bells are super loud. Okay, you guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I really enjoyed making this video. I had so much fun, and it's taken me so long to make. It took me all day to do those armor stands. It took me like a whole day to do that raid farm. And uh, yeah, it, it, it took me a literal probably about 50 plus hours to do that village complete. Not to completely finish it. It probably took me more than 50 hours to finish that village. But yeah, um, I have uh, loved making this video. And I think this is one of my best videos ever personally. You guys let me know down in the comments though. But yeah, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Did you forget about me? <laughs>